Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, something a little bit different. So, as you can see there, look to me. Yep. Our very good friend John Warren. But it doesn't say John Warren, does it? No. It's Warren's Valentin, but I'll tell you his first name. He turned Valentin service. Um, pretty much, in our opinion, um, one of the best out there. All right, we can only speak for the service that he gives us. And as you know, he does all our cars, uh, customers' cars as well. So, He's asked us to, um, he's not long had this man, he's only had it for a month or so. So we got rid of the uh, Vivaro, um, which is thumbs up on that one. Yeah. Because they are beep bands, aren't they? Right, so he's opted for a um, Transit Connect Beauty. Um, took a little while for to search for the right one, but he's, he's, he's found the, well, it had to be in uh, black. He wanted to, change it a bit from the white band to the black band and just uh, change uh, the way it's uh, the appearance of the graphics and whatever so so what's in here for right well it's in here for lowering spring kit all right and he's got some real smaller bola wheels to go on it some nice gloss black ones which we'll share with you when we uh, when you get into that in a minute to me because you're going to make a start on that yeah all right and then we're up in the size so at the moment it runs a 16 or something like that uh, so yeah, so it's, it's a 16 inch wheel size, rim size at the moment, We're, that's been up to an 18, alright, he's been uh, chatting to one of the Transit Connect guys that does, you know, specialises in these for the lowering springs and wheels and all that sort of stuff, so, I mean, it's great, so we'll give it a go, see what's, uh, we'll do another video as we go, and you, well you're doing it, so that means that maybe Al's going to have to do the video then, yeah? If you're doing it and I'm talking. I don't know about Shaky Stevens. I don't know. Well, oh, be careful, that's your work colleague. All right. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with that guys and uh, we'll come back soon. Right guys, next phase of uh, Mr. Warren's lowering springs and wheels upgrade. Yeah, on his Transit Connect. Yep. But hey, Christmas has come early. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we'd share with the unboxing with you guys, so you ready, Timmy? Mm. You ready, everybody? Here we go. All more, right. more cardboard, yeah? Yeah, it's probably all full of cardboard and just um, normal uh, spongy things in there. Oh, sort of like a spongy things in there. But there we are. Yeah. Before we do this, you know, we haven't opened this yet, so we thought we would uh, play it in. <laughs> Not like you after a oh, here we go. long hard day, yeah? Totally deflated, yeah. Instructions, yeah. Yep, gonna what need should them. we do with them? Yeah. Oh. Here we are. Right, so. That's quite impressive to me. It's all marked up properly. Look, I like to, mm. that's good actually. I like somebody who took the time to actually label it and, uh, you know, not that, you know, you know, we would need that info. But uh, anyway, it's, it's good, isn't it? Connect Mark 2, which it is, right? R for right, yeah? Well, I, I, I think you might be wrong there, mate. I'm just, I want you to correct me. It's, uh, it's for rear. Ideal. 40 mil, yeah? <laughs> F for... Mm -hmm. No. What, what do you think F for? S for? You tell me, I'm asking you. I'm asking the questions here. Oh. Yeah? So I'm not allowed to fire back, no? No. Oh, so it's front. That's right, 35mm. Right guys, so 40mm on the rear, 35 on the front. These are basically just the same, so I don't think you've actually to me yet. So, when we look at it, it looks pretty, uh... yeah, good. Here we are guys. Anyway, you know that, that's the front strut assembly. All right, so. Yeah, here's my. Right, so there we are guys, so there's two front struts. Um, Timmy's got a now. Strip them down, swap the lower springs over. So that's the rear springs, guys. So standard rears. Now, one thing which we haven't got because they pretty much fell to pieces to me, isn't it? We weren't to know until we got up in the air. So. Yeah. So a bit like the Fiesta ST180s, Mark 7s, doesn't have to be an ST180. They suffer from, on those, it's the upper to chassis, the isolators, all right, which is like a cushioner to the spring to the chassis. They deteriorate, fall to pieces, and we change them for Powerflex ones. A bit different on this, all right? 
it's now the upper ones are okay on they yeah so they also they have upper and uh, lower so it's the lower ones to the actual axle where the spring sits in the spring cup yeah. all right they've all fallen to bits all right so they're coming from uh, the local parts plus which is the ford um, side of it now um trade side of it um we're replacing them yeah point is you wouldn't put the northern springs in with uh you know deteriorated isolates would you crazy crazy maneuver that would be yeah 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 and you're likely to uh you know get yourself in trouble yeah that's correct right. so there we are so that's what it was just thought we would unbox that share it with you because it's getting close to christmas and we'll do a lot more than that in the future so i think what we should do is every time now because it's great for the viewers and exciting we'll unbox everything yeah we got lots of stuff coming from pro alloy for um you know tds timmy dalbridge a uh, great friend of ours i'm part of the mjp team that's coming in next week for uh for lots of mods done on his uh race red st180 and uh yeah mark three focus rs lots of things happening so a lot of it's pro alloy stuff um so everything we get we'll unbox it and share it with you guys because it's all in we tend to forget about things like that because we just automatically uh, as part of the normal day we just crack on and unbox it you know and just get it fitted and all that sort of stuff but you know we do forget that you might want to um you know you might want it to uh, see all that sort of stuff and we thought yeah let's let's share it with you so we'll do that whatever it is you know we've got lots of things happening and it's not all per alloy there's a cas diff that we're going to be fitting so we'll share with that with you there's lots of stuff coming in with our hoses our branded hoses in different colors different applications so lots and lots to look forward to and we've got the wheels to do on this yet we'll show you them they're cracking the bowler ones so you'll like them so um i'll let you crack on to me that's it and then you. we'll uh, come back uh, for the next phase yeah yeah what's happening guys i said i was going to share unboxing that means i'm wrapping as well we're talking too much now. I forgot all about it, didn't I? Right. Yeah. So, it's not right talking about it and showing you them in the bubble wrap, but you want to see them, don't you? So, let's do it. Let's do it. So, yeah. So, off it comes to there. So, there's your, uh, your orange spring. This is going to be the same, obviously. When he was on about that, on the, you might need a, a blade to, to get them out. But, you need to be a bit yeah. concerned about that. We're going to get them out. Really yeah. them. Yeah, aggressive, yeah, very right. So that's your fronts, guys. And then we go to the rears, so so there, look, yeah, yeah. semi pointed out, you know, didn't you? So now this one, because we've um, got mess around here. A few moments later, do you get any spinach, yeah? The pop yeah, yeah. It's all part of it, isn't it? You know, when you run wrapping, you know, a bit like you're on Christmas Day with the kids, yeah? Now, if you, had, if you opened it really easily, the fun's gone, isn't it? So, you know, you've got to be like, instead of a task, yeah? You want to be challenged, yeah? Give me three layers of silicone, yeah? Yeah, because it makes you, uh, hey! Yeah? So, there we are, guys, all right? There you go. Right, I don't need to do the other ones as well, but there's your height different. I mean, it's not dead level, is it? But on this bench, but that gives idea. you an idea mm. of your 35 and 40. So 35 fronts, we will hand show you that until we take them. We will do as soon as we get the spring standard stock spring off. We'll put it next to that. Timmy will show you, um, but you can see the rears look. So yeah. yeah, you know we've not done one on a on a transit connect yet, so it's new for us and it's all pretty much the same in it. But um, just gives you an idea. So all good fun. Now we're finished. Hang on a minute. You wouldn't leave a present unopened that Christmas, would you, Timmy? No. You'd be, you'd be uh, wanting to see what's inside it, wouldn't you? Oh, see that? Yeah, see? Yeah, the struggle it's a bit was like real. Uh, a roller coaster, yeah? Right. Right. So as we can see on the uh, on the bench there, so Timmy is now. Well, one's still stripped. We've seen that before, didn't we? Now one's been assembled. Yeah. With the lowering spring, and then the idea was just to show you the difference between 
the stock spring and the lowering spring, so you can see it's quite a bit of difference in it. Yeah. Um, so we'll get that tool, the other one fitted up to me, yeah. and then get them, uh, get them back on the uh, on John's van. We've got the uh, rear lower isolators that have just turned up, I think, so we can crack on and get it all back together. Then we'll, um, you know, reveal the wheels, guys and girls. All right. So until then. Right guys, so uh, still on John's trying to connect. We're up against it with time now, aren't we? So both fronts are uh, struts installed, Timmy. Yeah. So they're both installed. Look, so as you can see, the boy from mower, left and right, these have to come out of the way to access the 13 mil headed bolts, which secure the strut to the uh, underside of the body. Yeah. Yeah. Moving around to the. Uh, Pre-assemble, so as you see, obviously we know the spring's already on the strut, lowering spring, so now it's just sat in situ. Um, we'll now put that up, locate it up into the uh, hub. Flexio's on, drop link on, ABS cable, and that's it. And then we'll, uh, we'll move to the, uh, to the rear. Quick look at the uh, rear. Now I can show you the, uh, the different strut. So we've got the lowering springs to go on the back. You can see the back actually drop down, so you can clearly see that. Let's take one of these at the back. Turn in four parts, you know, it's all this, uh, you get trouble with getting in there, aren't I? It's, 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 yeah, this so is the, uh, um, wrapping. it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's unwrapping again, we love the unwrapping. Um, so, there we are, so believe it or not, that's what it should look like. All right, there look. So you can see how that's like, over a period of time, yeah, deteriorated and fell to bits, yeah. That's it. Much left that one. No, that one's even worse, isn't it? So there we are, guys. So just, just shows you. Look, we've got our own wrappers in there. Look, thank you. Know, Christmas and that, yeah. Oh, look, it's the same as the other one. Right? That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So there we are. So we'll get this all, all installed. And then um, this is the stock wheels. We'll uh, move them to one side uh, and then we'll get the other ones down and show you that. Let's get all put back together and then show you the finished uh, install. It's the rear now, guys. So this is the new lowering springs. So previously you saw them on the uh, on the bench uh, and then on the floor. Uh, new isolators fitted, look. Okay. Yeah. So just in case now of them, um, yeah, getting the wheels on, which will, uh, there they are. Right, so that's the new Bola 18s. So we're gonna run the 245 40 18 tires on it. Um, John took all this out himself, so I mean, we didn't have anything to do with all we're doing is just fitting it all for him. So, good choice of wheel, like these, uh, a bit different. Um, they're pretty good actually. If you've got like standard brakes, it hides all that. All right, obviously, if you want to be running, you know, like that, yeah, like on our Marjorie Bugs Arts demo car. You don't want to be hiding your brakes, do you, Timmy? No. You want to be revealing on chill. Yeah. And you can't miss that, mate. So. You can't. So with these, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to cover up your discs and calibers and that sort of stuff, because they're puny. Yeah. Is that the word today? Yeah. 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 <laughs> then you put something like that on, didn't you? Like a dish type to cover it up. All right. So yeah. So we'll finish up soon with. Uh, the wheels on the van, and then we'll let them down and let you see what it looks like. I mean, it's, unfortunately, times went off against us, and uh, you know what with the uh, winter late nights, yeah, late nights, dark nights, mm, no, that's nights um, going in, dark nights, no, that's Batman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the dark nights drawing in early, yeah, yeah. is that right? Drawing in, yeah, all right, back soon. Right guys and girls, uh, the final, uh, this is the final uh, episode, chapter of this. All right. So John's, uh, John's Valentin is a really nice transit connect. Um, as you know, we've been talking you through the process of what we've been doing on it with the lowering springs that John supply, bowler wheels. Um, all right, so as you can see, uh, it's transformed it quite a bit. As you can see now, look, the way it sits with the stance and all that, it's sat a little bit lower on the rear because it's 
you know, he's going to have, um, it's always going to look that way because he's got the carrying the water around, obviously, the ballot in it. So, he's got the water tank in the back, and plus, we've just put in the rest of it, haven't we? Uh, not the wheels, just no, the wait, So, he's, he's, yeah. Um, so, it's always going to pretty much look like that, depending on how much water he's got in the back, isn't it? But, uh, I have to give it time for everything to settle in, you know, with the springs um, and whatnot. So, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Two, four, five, forty, eighteens on it. Um, so you should took for road testing, yeah. Yeah. Which is, uh, and it's all pretty good. No, yeah. no horrible noises or on lock to lock or over some of the sleeping policemen in uh, around uh, around our area. So all good, yeah. Yeah. So what we do is get John to bring it back uh, in a week's time when everything's settled in. We'll. Uh, We'll sort all the alignment out then, do a geometry check on it, and um, make sure it's all running true. Because what you don't want to be doing is sort of uh, you know, scrubbing all the tires out. But obviously, it's going to handle a bit differently with the with you know the lowering springs, much better. Um, you know, but with the two point five on it, great. So we will look forward to uh, to see this one again in uh, like a week's time, and then we'll give you an update on it and uh, maybe do a, another feature on it. All right, so. Um, there we are guys, so usual thing, uh, thanks for listening, that's, um, that's the main thing isn't it, uh, thanks for subscribing, that's another really important factor, you know, or about the liking, subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification buttons, comments down below, that's really important isn't it, because yeah. we asked for a few comments, yeah, uh, we can um, remember what the, uh, well, that ride was, the, the cold spring ride, yeah, yeah. that's what it's called, well, no, but. That's the yeah. same similar well, before, yeah, let us know about that, guys. Yeah, comments down below. We'll be, uh, I'll still let them know. I forgot about it, actually. So, uh, got a, excuse us, got a noisy, bit of a noisy roll this evening. Still some fireworks going off, whatever. They'll be, uh, you know, um, yeah, just doing my business here. But, November the 8th today, isn't it? Yeah. It's over, isn't it? We've still got fireworks going off. Yeah. They do love it, don't they? They do love it, yeah. Yeah, they get a, they get their hands on the fireworks and that's it. They I think that they just use them up, don't they? Mm. Um, but you know, in this day and age, it's fireworks every week, isn't it? You don't need an excuse for uh, or a reason or an event or anything. They just sell them off. Isn't that's it? it, yeah. That's good. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So, um, yeah, thanks again and uh, catch up very soon. Thanks.